Hey everyone, this is In The Zone, and today I'm going to be doing a Diana Animation Cancel Guide. So Diana's seen a lot of popularity lately because of her rework, and I noticed that a lot of people don't perform these in-game, so we're just going to go through them. Um, before we start, though, just some basic tips. Um, in general, because My your passive gives you so much attack speed, you want to stagger your spells a little bit to maximize your attack speed. So this is your base attack speed with Nashers. You want to Q, auto attack three times, maybe use your W, auto attack. You know, use a spell, auto attack three times, so that you have your attack speed up as often as possible. Well, let me turn that off. You're not always going to be able to do that, but it's something to keep in mind, especially when you're DPSing Dragon or Baron. Uh, also, when you're aiming your Q, your Q always moves counterclockwise. It always curves in a counterclockwise direction. Uh, and it explodes at the very tip. You can actually see the AoE on the, on the indicator. Um, it's generally easier to hit enemies with the tip of your crescent because of the way that it explodes, um, rather than the middle of it where it might just go through targets entirely. The tip is just a lot wider than people give it credit for, so in general you want to try and hit enemy champions with the tip of your Q. It's just a lot easier. Um, just try and practice hitting all targets with your sk with this skill shot. It is a little weird. On to the animation cancels. So let's start off with QE. So when you Q a target and then you E immediately, your E will reset uh, even if your Q hasn't hit the target yet, as long as it ends up hitting the target in the end. So you'll notice that I arrive before the, the E damage goes through before the Q, but the E still resets. It doesn't matter how long after you arrive that the Q hits, as long as it hits the target that you dash to, your E will reset. Um, you can do this at close range as well. You can do this at long range. You get the idea. You can even do this at point blank. So, uh, although, bear in mind, if you miss your Q uh, and you when you do the QE combo, your E will not reset. So once again, if you miss the target with your Q and you dash, your E will not reset, even if you do it properly. So you do need to make sure that you hit your Q. It's a lot more reliable now, actually. It used to be very finicky to do it, uh, to do the QE combo at point blank range. Now it seems a lot easier. Next on the list is Q Flash. If you've watched my Ari animation cancel video, you'll find that this mechanic is very similar. You can perform your Q windup animation while you flash. Diana's Q has a really long windup animation, so you can use this quite a bit. Also, keep in mind that um, just like Ari charm flashing sideways, uh, the skill shot will always go towards where you point the cursor, so the explosion will always be in the same place whether you flash sideways or not. The next animation cancel is R Flash. This is actually really important. If you've ever seen Orianna's Shockwave Flash, it's the exact same mechanic, except it's actually useful and it's not completely troll when you use it. Denying Observe. No so you want to hit as many people with your ulti as you can, because obviously the damage scales up depending on how many champions you hit it. So obviously you want to hit 
multiple targets with your ulti uh, to maximize its damage and also maximize the CC, right? So you're gonna have to flash into range a lot of times to hit multiple targets. The timing is incredibly finicky. Even at this low ping, I mess it up sometimes. I flash too late frequently. You really can't flash soon enough. The animation is so short that you might as well just flash as soon as possible. But if you can pull this off, it'll be very impressive, and it's really difficult to dodge this type of initiation if you can land it. Okay, I want to talk about E-Flash. This is not a true animation cancel. Uh, technically, this is an input buffer, but what it does is that it reduces your frames of animation. Uh, Body Tags did a really long video about what input buffering and how it works on various champions, but here's what you need to know specifically in regards to Diana. You should never ever flash E, okay? There's a chance that you flash and you misjudge the range. There's a chance that the enemy also flashes and you won't be able to cast your E in time. The animation is slower. They have time to use CC. Here's what you should do instead. Okay, step one, cast E on a target that's outside of your cast range, as indicated by the circle. Chosen of the moon. All right. So once you cast E on this target outside of range, Diana will auto path towards that champion until she's in dash range, and then she'll cast her E. Got that so far? Okay, good. All right. This is step one. Just let the champion auto path. If you input a movement command at any point during this auto path, you'll override the cast. So she's walking. If I input a movement command, she's going to walk over here and stop, and she's not going to cast her E. So it's really important that when you begin learning how to input buffer, you cast, and then you just don't click. Don't put input any other commands. You with me so far? OK, good. So the next step is that you're going to do the same thing. You're going to walk in, you're going to cast your E, she's going to auto path, and right before you get in range, you're going to flash without putting in a movement command like I just did. Let's try that again. The, the trickiest part is actually not spam clicking while you're doing this. If you spam click and override the E cast, it will not work. It will take some time. The trick is also that you need to flash, flash right into your E range. Trust me, it's easier, it's more reliable, less mechanically intensive, and it's faster. You can even perform this move on high ping because you don't need to input a whole bunch of commands right after you flash. You just let the, your champion walk up and then you flash in range. Alright, so let's put everything all together. So we have all of our abilities now, we know what to do. So in general, when you're trying to engage, you're going to open off with QE, and then you're going to alt -E flash to hit all four targets, and then you're just going to auto-attack things to death along with your W. Like so. Okay, I messed that one up. That one was bad. And that's it. I hope that helped someone, and I never want to see you guys flash E in my games ever again. I never want to see you guys flash R in my games ever again. Got that? I'm watching you.